Hello, this is Chuck from MP Engineering. MP is introducing a pushrod assembly tool, part number 16-9610-0 for assembling cut-to-length pushrods. This tool can be used a number of ways and I'll demonstrate a few different ways. For instance, it works well with a lathe for cutting to length, but you can also use it with other pan tools. The use of a vise is highly recommended. It will make the job much easier. Tools for this job are gonna vary depending on what you have available. You can use a scale or a caliper. Uh, you'll also need a few Allen wrenches to go with the, to, to adjust the tool, as well as a wrench for the jam nut, some files or something to deburr the, the push rod with, and a method of cutting the push rod. Anytime you're building a VW high performance type one, two, or three engine using various camshaft sizes, rocker arms, or cranks, you will need custom length push rods. This video will demonstrate how to, how to cut and assemble push rods after you've determined the length. The, there are other various articles on, and videos online to help you set valve train geometry, but depending on the rocker arms or adjusters you're using, it, the technique varies. This video will just demonstrate how to assemble the pushrod once you know the length. Let's start with the length of the pushrod that you determine you need. You can measure this with a large caliper, or you could just scribe a line that is 10 millimeters or about 400,000 shorter than the pushrod that you've, that you've set. And for this video, I'm gonna set this on a straight edge next to my push rods. And I'm going to take a square, line it up with the base of the tip, which is the same as the tip I'm using, and just scribe a line across these. That's the length I need. Another method, my favorite of using this tool, the, the bottom half of it, is to set a stop and cut these on a lathe. Once you have your mark in mark and you've cut them a little bit uh, uh, past the line, you can put this, you can uh, adjust the, jam, the set screw and the jam nut to hold it with, uh, so you can see your line sticking out and then use the set screw to tighten it down. But we're gonna put this in the lathe, tighten it down with this snug, but not overly tight because we don't want to, we don't want to mark up the push rod. So put this in here, snug it down. That's right to the line now. I'm gonna set my zero. Now you can loosen the set screw. Remove the first push rod. And then put the next one in. That's cut just a little bit past the line. Snug it down. Place it out to the mark. Face it up to your zero point. Take it right to zero. Same length as the other one. Where the ID. Once you've faced off all eight push rods the same length and deburr them, you can now press the tips in using the tool. Now that all the push rods are cut, we're gonna lay them out on a straight edge and confirm that they're the same length. Uh, after that, we're going to use our push rod assembly tool and press the ends in. Let's compare the length to the push rod length tool that we used earlier to get our length. I'm gonna put it upside down because the tip on the tool is the same as the tip that we're gonna press in. So you can confirm that they're all the same length as that tool. So now we're gonna set the tool to press the tips in. Slide the push rod into the tool and adjust the bottom set screw so that the push rod is inside the tube. We're gonna set the tip in and bring it down so that the tip, the lip of the tip is inside the tube. That's gonna drive the tip in straight. Then uh, let's uh, set, our, set our jam nut just to hold this in place. That'll keep that, that setting. Screw this tip on, and uh, we're gonna go over to the vise to hold this still. Take our Allen wrench and crank this down. This will press the tip in. When it bottoms out, you'll feel it.
and then back it off. Remove the cap. And now you have the tip pressed in. Notice how it's nice and flush and even, there's no light. If there was, you would need to put it back in the, back in the tool and apply additional pressure. That's it, do this to all eight push rods and you're finished. So once again, the push rod assembly tool is part number 169610-0. And you can also use it with the push rod length measuring tool, which is 16-9600-0, both available at your favorite MP dealer.